Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here in the desert playing some Forever Stranded, trying to eke out an existence under the harsh sun that beats down on our head and tries to kill us every single day. <laughs> Sometimes it succeeds, still, even now. Well, maybe not the sun, but mobs sure do. Man, four hearts, man, it's no good. Anyway, I just came from a little excursion out and around the base. I was looking for some Endermen. I've been trying to kill some Endermen to get some to get an Enderman head so I could make a soul binder, I think is what I need. But man, I can't find one. I was gonna make just like a regular mob spawner. Kind of makes me grumpy, to be perfectly honest with you. I also, what also makes me a little grumpy is I've updated to the current, ver the release version of Forever Stranded 1.9.1. I was a little bit behind in that, but check out this new, this dark helmet. It's I got like a mustache now. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's crazy. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do in today's episode. I I haven't been successful in trying to find any Enderman heads what i've been doing is just kind of coming up here every so often and just taking a glance around and seeing if i see any endermen let's eat something see if i see any endermen just kind of hanging around and if i do i've been going out and kill them i haven't really been like searching for them but if i can find one i was gonna kill it but yeah so i don't really see any they're sort of i just killed three not too long ago didn't get a, a head from one of those obviously there's a blitz. That thing will try to blind me to death. So, anyway. No Enderman, really. Yeah. So, it looks like we're going to have to fire up a Woot farm. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. It's got to be a Tier 3, I think, to spawn Enderman. I'm pretty sure. And it's there's got some, there's some power requirements we're going to have to deal with. So, we're going to handle that first and foremost. So, last episode, we got our Void Resource Miner fired up. We've been getting some mica. Spent a little bit of time AFK. Got a stack of mica. That's way more than I need, but it's some, at least. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a Tier 3 solar panel because that requires mica. The Tier 2 doesn't, but the Tier 3 does. Tier 4 requires some uh, Nether Star, which we're not quite ready for yet. Hopefully soon. So, to make these guys, we got to start at Tier 1, and we got to make four of these bad boys. Is it four? Yeah, yeah. So, four of these guys. So, we can make those. i got all the pieces parts. I've got diamantine crystals. I've got gold blocks and solar cells. So, we can make four of those guys. Then, we can crank it up to these guys right here. Make some Tier 2s. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing a couple odds and ends. Let's grab some diamonds out of here. Let's grab some lapis. Let's get 18 lapis. Okay. And we'll get 36 diamonds. Okay, there we go. Now, we should be able to go here. and No, here. And we should be able to make four of these. Bang. We can go here. We can make two of these like that. And now we should be able to make this other tier two so we got two tier twos now and now we should be able to make a three so we should be able to get these guys note this one and then bang okay so there's our tier three controller we have all the solar cells we need a couple more odds and ends here let's see what else we need so for a solar array we need 32 structure blocks eight modifiers so let's look at modifier Let's see what we got to do for those. So we just need a block of iron, we need some stone, we need some glass. Okay, so we should have all of those things. I think I have stone. Let's see, yeah, we got that and that. Perfect. And we just need a couple blocks of iron. So let's just go ahead and get... How many of these do we need to make? Eight? Oh. So I need like this plus a couple. That should be plenty. All right, let's go over here and see if we can make these blocks of iron real quick. Let's knock these out. Can we make eight? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, three left over. Now, we should be able to just make these guys, right? Bang. There's our modifier cores. Now, we can probably start thinking about updating some of those. The only one that we really need to worry about is maybe the PZO. And maybe we should make... What's the deal here? Uh, RF times 64. So, maybe we'll just go ahead and make these. I mean, it's just redstone. Okay, let's just do that. Let's get one, two... 
three. Okay, let's go here and let's make these so they and essentially these PZO modifiers allow it to work at night. That's what the deal is there. Now, can we no uh, PZO? Can we make these guys? What am I missing? Oh, more iron. That's okay. We have stacks on stacks of iron. Let's put this away. Okay, and let's just get. Oh my goodness, we're filled up our inventory already. PZO modifiers. Let's make however many this does. There we go. That's good for now. <laughs> and let's go ahead and make crank these guys out. Do we have all the stuff? Yeah, there's eight PZO modifiers. Awesome. And let's dump all this extra stuff away. So we have those. And now we just need to make, I think it was, uh, how many structure blocks? It's like a whole stack of them. 32 structure blocks, tier 3 or above. So let's take a look and see what we need to do for structure blocks. Tier 3. Okay, that's pretty simple. So we need uh, a half a stack. So we need a stack of that and a stack of, what was it? gold and we're actually getting a little bit low on gold all right so let's make some tier ones bang should we make 32 yep we can now tier twos require a stack of diamonds and a stack of redstone here let's go like this and convert that okay stack of redstone do we have a stack of diamonds yeah we're getting a little bit low okay now we should be able to make tier two structure blocks like so and then tier threes require, oh, hello, please be quiet, phone. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so threes require some glowstone, a couple stacks of ender pearls, and what was the other thing? Some redstones. We need another stack of redstone, okay? All right, now let's make these tier threes. So that should be pretty simple. Bang, right? There's 16, and let's see if we can make 16 more. And there's 16 more. So there's our those deals. So we have all the pieces part. We have our assembler. We have this deal. Here, we need to convert this back to like this. And we need to throw this in the thing. Okay, so there's all that stuff. That's awesome. Got a little bit extra mica left over. Okay, now I want to make some conduits. I'm going to make some of these ender energy conduits. We need vibrant alloy. Okay, so I should be able to go over here. I have six. Ah, we probably have enough. So let's make some of these guys. Yep, so there's a bunch of ender uh, conduit, ender energy conduits, awesome. Now, I also wanna make some capacitors. Capacitors, I'm gonna make some of these big daddy ones. So we got, we need some, these guys, we got these, okay. And I think the only other thing we need is some electrical steel, okay. So let's get there's a stack of that. Yeah, I've been doing some crafting off camera. Now we should be able to make three of these bad boys. Bang, right? So there we go. So that's 18, 36, 40, 52, 52 million RF we can store. And this guy, if I remember correctly, produces something like, hello phone, please be quiet. It's uh, 14,000 a tick. It's pretty good, actually. Not too shabby. Tier 4 is way higher than that. So, all right, I'll tell you what. Let me get some stuff together. I need to get clean out my inventory a little bit. And we're going to come back and we're going to put up this Big Daddy solar panel. We're going to get it charging into some vibrant capacitors. And then it's going to be time to start thinking about Woot. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Now, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. First of all, I got my inventory pretty much cleaned up. We're going to use most of this stuff here in just a few minutes. So, I think we're in pretty good shape. But what I did is went ahead and put another bank of storage drawers in here. Remember, as soon as we get our uh, ME system up and running, we're going to connect some external storage buses to these guys. And we'll be able to access all of these blocks. So I think even though I'm not a huge fan of storage drawers, <laughs> I mean, they're not my favorite, at least we have storage for everything that we're processing, everything that we need. I'm pretty sure this would be the only thing. Yes, that's empty. So currently everything that we need is getting processed in here. Now you can see, I, I, I was thinking, all right, well, you know, uh, 11, like 30, 43 different types of blocks would be enough, but I had to actually extend out here a little bit more because we've got some different kinds of grass and different things like that. But man, it's working like a dream. And if we just fly around the backside here real quick, you can see what I've got, got going on. I've got another ender chest sitting right here. White, yellow, white coming from the uh, void resource miner. 
and then I'm pulling out a couple little odds and ends just to save myself a little bit of space. All these guys, there's already chests in this first bank that covers those. So we're, we're essentially gathering up all of our ores. We're processing almost everything that we've got, and we're in pretty good shape. Man, I love that. <laughs> I had to cut down some trees. He has a little couple of odds and ends to make this happen. But this is so much better. Now that thing can just run. I don't have to worry about that crate. Even though we've got one of those big daddy crates. I wonder if we have a small... Ah, it's okay. Well, I'll just leave it go the way it is. So if we go up here, you can see that this chest now is completely empty. I love it. Is this guy pulling power? Yeah, it's pulling a little bit of power. It's still working during the night. we got enough power buffer there to take care of that. We should be good to go. Now, did I get some? No, of course not. Let's go back down here really quick. Let's grab some dirt. A stack of dirt will probably work. Okay, and let's go back up here. Um, actually, let's go and sleep through the night. Just to make sure, you know, just so we can see what's going on up there. I mean, I've been playing for a while. Man, I almost, I was AFK. You know, I had to do some stuff around the house. And <laughs> my battery... It was being charged, or being brought down pretty quick, and then I came back and I had like 500,000 RF in there. If I'd have waited too much longer, I would have died from heat exhaustion because my battery would have went out. But it didn't, so we're good to go. Okay, so we're going to build our array, our solar array, over here. Man, I'm always getting more of these things. I've just been collecting them. You know, it is what it is. Here we can go... Why not get some extra stuff? But this is where we're going to build. So my plan is, okay, here's my plan. <laughs> Hopefully it will work. We're going to build our Woot Farm right here. So we're going to build, well, no, we're going to build our solar array up here in the sky. And then we're going to have a series of Woot Farms down along the side here. And we might even be able to expand them into different areas. But... We're going to be farming a bunch of different things, and hopefully we can try to get at least... Uh, i got to make the Tier 3 one today, if I possibly can. So we'll see if we can do that. So we need 9x9 nine nine is how big this solar thing is. So let's just kind of mark out an area. Let's go 1, 2, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think that'll be good. Yeah? Yeah. And let's just take it up here a little bit. No reason why we have to be right down on the ground. And then I can dig all this stuff out of here. Okay. Awesome. Now, let's get our handy-dandy assembler out. I wonder if this thing will work this time where we can just click and hold. I don't know why it doesn't want to do that. That's what you should be able to do. Just click and hold it. Remember, we made those PZO upgrades, so this thing's going to be reducing, producing power even at nighttime. All right, there we go. Look how big that, that thing is. Oh, look at that thing, boy. I love it. Now, this thing's going to be producing 14,000 RF a tick, so I think that's going to be pretty good. Now, i got to figure out how I want to do this exactly. So we're going to pull power... Let's actually, uh, let's see, how do we want to make this thing work? Let's think about it a second, and while we're thinking, let's just go up here and we'll put some torches around, just so we don't have any mobs spawning up here. We don't need any help from anybody, like, coming and trying to fall on our head and kill us. Okay, so, I've got three of these bad boys here, these vibrant capacitors that hold 18 million RF apiece. And, you know, it's going to take them a while to get them filled up, but not too bad. Not too bad. So, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll make, like, just like a, a tower. Let's go right underneath this guy. And let's see, is this the right, is that the right place? Let's get some dirt in here just to sort of space this thing out and make sure it's one, two, three. Is that right? Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, so that's the right block. Okay, so we're just going to go, um, I think actually, let's put this back. I want to have a space where I can run, uh, run cables if I need to. So let's make it like that. That's going to give us lots of sides to sort of break off of if we need to. And then all we should be able to have to do is go here like so and put this guy there. 
and say you are going to be extract and you are going to be insert like that and this thing is filling up at 14,000 RF a tick. So it's going to, I mean, it's, man, it's been cruising. This thing is going to be filled. So now we have a huge power source that we can run these wood farms off of. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Okay, so I've been spending a little bit of time between clips here. Oh, man, look at that thing. We are finally getting in to the golden age. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so the first thing we need to make for this Woot farm is the mob factory. So we got to have some things. Man, I'm a little worried about my gold situation here. And we've got uh, almost five stacks. That should be enough. Let's take some out of here and see. So we need to make this guy, and then we need to make something else. It's like the... It's like where the power comes in. Let me just read my book here really quick. I think I want to make sure that... Okay, so how to craft. Previous... You'll need two basic item types to start building the components of your factory. A hammer and some dies. You use the hammer, some obsidian to hit it against the die, and some materials to craft. You will get the hammer. Okay, next. Create one of each of the seven dies, and they will serve you the lifetime of your factory. Okay. Factory comes in different tiers, so craft yourself a layout block and place it one block above the ground. It will then show you which blocks go where. Okay. Once you place all the blocks, put the mob factory in the mob controller. Okay, so we got to build a couple things here. Is this the layout block? Yeah. So let's actually, let's go ahead and make... Do we want to do this on camera? Hmm. I don't know. Do we want to do this on camera? You know, some of you guys maybe have never seen Woot before. You know, I had to, I got to play around with it a little bit in, I guess it was Foolcraft. When I was playing Foolcraft, we did a little bit of that. So we need some gold, we need that. Uh, we're going to need some a bunch of obsidian, so let's go grab some obsidian. Let's grab that. Okay, so we're going to make this layout block first. So we need to make the factory casing... And to make a factory casing, right? What, what did I just see? So we got to make a factory casing. So to do that, so we got to make our hammer. We need some nether brick. Uh oh, uh, nether brick. Uh oh, that's not good. Can I grind down? What happens if I put. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, let's, <laughs> let's take all of that. And let's take all of these. I should have at least a stack in here. Yep, I do. Okay, while that's doing that, just so we can keep producing some nether, nether, uh, nether rack. I mean, we're getting some out of the void ore miner. How much? Oh, we oh, we got tons. Okay, let's run over here to our alloy smelter and throw this in there, and we'll convert that into nether brick. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So let's grab that. Then we need to make our hammer which is this guy right here, which is a couple sticks, a couple string, and these three nether rack blocks. So let's grab those. I think I have some sticks in here. Yep, I do. Okay. And let's make this guy. Let's make our hammer, first of all. Bang. Bang. Okay. Now, we got to make all of these different dies, but we're going to make our layout block first. So the factory casing is... Four under iron plates, the hammer, and a casing die. Oh, let's make this guy. So we need stone, obsidian. Okay, let's grab some stone. And let's make this guy. Okay, bang. Awesome. So there's our casing thing. And we need a factory casing, which is made this way. So under iron is under iron, which is pulverized under alloy smelter. What is this? Iron, mesh dye, nether... Oh, good grief. Okay. Mesh dye. So let's make that guy. Where's our mesh? Mesh dye. So we'll make that. We should probably just go down and make all of these guys. Let's grab some, some of that. Okay. Connector die. Let's go ahead and make that. So we'll make one of those. Grab these guys out. 
and then we need a plate die which we haven't made yet so plate die is a slab a wood slab which we should have yeah oh man we even got something out of our inventory freed up a slot so we have plate die bang like that okay and then we need a oh, shard die. I think I have a shard. I think I needed that for something else I was working on. Yeah, shard die right there. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five of the seven. Okay. Then we need a skull die. And this one we need a mob head. And what's the other one? Mesh die. Prism die. We need an ender pearl. Okay. We can do that, I think. Let's go over here and get ourselves a single mob head like so. And let's get ourselves an ender pearl like that. And then we should be able to go here and we can make the skull die like so. And we can make the prism die like so. Okay, so there's all of our different dies. Oh my goodness, what a crazy thing that is. Okay. Now, can we make this thing yet? No, we still have to make this guy. So we have to make some of this under... Almost said underwear. We need to make some of these underwear things. Under iron plates. So we need some under iron. And to make that, we've got to do iron ingot, nether brick. Okay. Nether brick. Are we getting nether brick out of our deal here? I don't see any. Let me just take a look here. Nether brick. Another brick right there. Which way can we get it? Uh, we can do induction smelter, which we don't have. Compactor, chiseling, compressor. Okay. So we got to make it out of these guys. So let's go over here and grab all of these bricks that we have here. I have no space. Let's throw these in there, get those guys cooking up. Let's go over here to our little project box that we have and just dump all these dies in here just so we can get some room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we're going to need this guy. Okay. So let's grab these now. And we can make eight of those. Okay. All right. So to make this. Let's go back to at Woot. To, the first thing we got is this guy, right? So we need a factory casing, which is this. Which is this and this, which now we need some cobble. And we have iron. Okay. We need this. So let's... What are we missing? Oh, our mesh. Okay. Okay, we need to make a lot more than the speed at which we're making it. Okay. 32. Okay. That's a start, at least. Alright, we need to smelt all this stuff up. Do that. Okay, now, this guy needs a factory casing, which are all these guys. Okay, good grief. Alright, that's easy. And then we need a piece of stone. Okay. Let's get those out. Do we still have cobblestone? Nope. Let's get some cobblestone. Let's get some regular stone. All right. Let's see if we can make this thing now. Let's take all this stuff out. Okay. So we need to make these, which we have. Now we need to make these guys, right? What are we missing? The plate die. No, I thought I got the plate. I didn't. Let's put these guys away really quick. All right, let's make these. Okay, we want this. We want a bunch of these. And then we want to click there. So there's 20, okay? Now, <laughs> can we do this yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Now we need the other... Oh my goodness, this, these dies are going to be the death of me. So we need this. Let's go here. Let's go here, and then here, and then like this, right? So we get four of those. Let's make... Okay, let's get... Like that. Bang. 
Let's make 20 of those bad boys now. Ready? Factory layout block. Okay. Now, I've used this factory layout block before. I don't remember the recipe being so crazy, but let's go sleep through the night. And then we're going to go at least lay this thing out. Man, we're getting long in this episode. We've been messing around doing stuff. I'd like to at least... Hmm. I'd like to at least get some stuff done here, if we possibly could. Just a little nervous. Okay, so we want to go... Let's go... Maybe we just make one. Make our big one here, and then we can run some over there, maybe? And I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Let's put this guy down. Okay, I would assume that that's like tier one. Tier two. Okay. And I think we're going to need to make a tier three version. Will it fit in this spot? Yeah, it will. Okay. Oh, daddy. Okay. So that's what we need to make. So let's just step through the different things. And then... Mm, I don't know if I want to do it offline or not. Doesn't look too bad. We need a bunch of those orange guys. We need red. We need green. We need these. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I think... Hmm. I think what we'll do, just because, you know, I've been messing around for a little while, messing with this stuff. I think maybe next episode, we'll go ahead and get this Woot Farm fired up. We'll start fresh for the next episode. I'll work on crafting all, like, the pieces parts, and then we could just knock out all these things. Looks like we need some black ones, some red ones, some orange, green, and then whatever these capstones are, like that. And then we need these guys. And then power comes in to the Woot Farm that way. Yeah, and then we can get some modifiers. So let's do that next episode. I think we're going to do, just to finish off the little bit we've got left here, let's eat something. Okay, and let's, first of all, dump tons of stuff away. I want to go off and do a little bit of sort of messing around. So this is going to be our project chest. Let's put our dies in here. Like that, we're going to put those in there just in case. I know we're going to need those here before long. We're going to need some obsidian. Actually, I don't know if we need obsidian. Let's go put this away. I just want to empty out my inventory a little bit. What's in here? What do I got going on in here? Nothing. Let's put this and this and our hammer and this and that in there. Okay. This goes there. This goes there. Okay. And then we'll come over here to our mob drop area. And let's put uh, this. That's not really what I wanted to do. No, let's actually keep that out. Let's try to keep ourselves on track here. Let's put this over there like that. That's good. We have some arrows. We have this bow. Okay. Hello? Stop spinning. Okay. All right. And let's pop up here. And we'll stick this calamari in here I like a so oh look at right there have i eaten that recently yeah okay all right now so i have some stuff my hammer's getting a little bit low but i think we're going to be able to solve that as soon as we get that wheat wheat farm no woot farm and i want to say that this little thing is like right out here okay i want to see if i can find this little dungeon and I want to go down inside just see if we can get any half decent loot I don't want to die and I don't want to take too much time hi can we go faster it's not there it's sort of in an open area oh there's that crazy thing okay <laughs> yeah we're gonna definitely knock that out next episode you know sometimes we just take too much time messing around hmm okay maybe it's over here I know I saw that thing wasn't too far from... I should have made a marker in the ground. I think we're probably going to need some green dye, which we can get from cactuses. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Maybe it is this way. Let's go out just a little bit further. No. No. I don't think I was out too far... That's one of those underground deals right there. Hmm. I should have put a marker in, I guess. Hmm. Looking 
for a square in the ground. It seemed like it was just not too far offshore. No, that's like an explosion. <laughs> that was probably me blowing stuff up. That's not it. That's not it. Home is back this way. It was only like 200 blocks out from home, I want to say. Here. Right here. Yep. Okay. So I just want to peek my head down there. The, one of the main reasons I want to go in here, though, is to see if I can get some bricks for some stuff. Uh, let's get torches. Let's get a couple going on here. We don't want to spend... Oh, man, we're going to... This could be trouble. That's okay. Let's just go down a little ways. Man, two episodes ago, we spent the entire episode down inside one of these things getting tore up. There's a skeleton. Oh, creeper! Oh, dang it! Oh, this is a nightmare already. Oh, no. Oh, man, what have we done? This is not the way we want to end this episode. Here, can I go here? Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna we're gonna suffocate. Oh no! I'm gonna die! No! 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 no. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh man! <laughs> And I never went between the episodes and got all my stuff. Oh, what a nightmare. All right, well, I think we're going to end it right there. You know, with a little bit of stupidity just the end. Why do we even go down there? We should just end it the episode. Man, sometimes I don't know what's wrong with me. I have some significant issues. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from the desert, where we have lots of new power, we have lots of new storage, and we're dead as dead can be. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.